Hello and welcome to Alfea Suite. Today we're going to take a look at creating purchase returns in the system. So the first thing I'm going to do is come to my purchases and then click into my purchases tab. And I've actually just created a new purchase that we're going to go ahead and return. Now, before we create a purchase return in Alfea Suite, we do want to consider how it is that we are actually handling these returns with our suppliers. By that, I mean, and let's take damaged product as an example here. If you receive damaged items from your supplier, are you returning, physically returning that product to the supplier? Are you maybe selling the product as is, as you received it for a discounted rate? Um, or are you maybe breaking it down, using it for parts? So if the item is no longer going to be in inventory, meaning you're not going to sell it as is, you're either physically returning to the supplier or you maybe are dumping or you're using for parts, it's not gonna sell as is, that is going to be a situation where we would create a return. So I'm gonna to come to this purchase I just created. I'm gonna click into my context menu, and then I'm going to select create purchase return, third option down here. Now, just like with our sales returns, sales invoice returns, it is going to bring us to this return screen I have my purchase selected that I'm returning against. We've got the warehouse it's coming out of, the supplier, and then we have this reason for return field. So this is going to be a user input field. Again, just meaning that you will create the different statuses, different reasons for return if you would like to track that. So we could say that this was dead scratch. We could say financial, item was faulty, whatever it is that we want to use to track that, keep, keep that in order. And then next, we have the actual products. So by default, it added both products I had on that purchase order. We are going to go ahead and say we're returning both of them. So all I need to do here is come down and hit create once I've got my quantities and items correct. Now, one of the items was a serialized item. So when I received it, I received in a serial number. I need to select the serial number that is now going back out or being removed from my name. The non-serialized item, I don't need to select anything. It knows which one is going back. That purchase return has now been created and those items have now left my inventory. Thank you so much for watching and we appreciate your interest in Althea's